Hello there and welcome to the initial arbitrage scraper setup video tutorial. I'll be going through an extremely simple process of setting up your initial profit spy arbitrage scraper so let's get started. So first of all we want to go to Amazon.com and choose from the category drop down menu here and choose any one of these categories below. We'll start off with the appliances category as an example and click on the search button. From here, we'll choose a subcategory. Any one of these will do. Let's start off with the small appliances. And then we can drill down to another subcategory if we'd like as well. Now if we scroll down, we'll see the product grid listing. Now this is what we're looking for in order to um, efficiently scrape any subcategory within ProfitSpy. So we want to look for the grid listing and ensure that there is a numbered page menu below. And then once we've decided upon the subcategory that uh, we'd like to scrape from, we want to simply copy the URL. All right. And now we simply go back to Profit Spy and click on the Add Arbitrage button. and paste the URL like so. Next under name we're going to place the Amazon category here. Small appliances and uh, the description is where you want to place any sort of notes. If you don't have any then just leave it alone. Scrape source, scrape destination, you're going to leave these two alone. Um, product matching keywords. Okay now this is where all the magic happens. So you're essentially setting up how many words within the Amazon product title that you would like to match up with the product titles on eBay. So for example, if you're selecting, say, seven words, uh, which I typically use for most of my scrapers, Profit Spy will go through each and individual product within the Amazon category or subcategory that you chose and match up seven words within their, the product title with seven words of the same title on eBay. Now, the lower the word search, like two or three, the lower chances you'll have at finding an exact product comparison match within your scraped product inventory. However, you'll receive more products that are scraped, and again, they just won't match as accurately. Now, the higher word choice that you choose down here, the uh, more likely it is that all your product scraped will be an accurate comparison within your inventory. However, this will result in a lower number of products that are scraped, which again is fine because uh, you won't really be having to filter through as many non-related product comparisons. As a general rule of thumb, I like to choose anywhere between six and eight usually around seven uh, as I've found that it delivers a good amount of results with high product matching accuracy. Next this is where we enter our uh, profit margin. I usually like to start off with 10 but you can input anything that you want to right here 20, 30, 40, 50. Again the higher number uh, that you're seeking for the profit margin the lower the results the lower profit margin will generally bring you more results but again a lot more products with lower margins so I've typically found within my experience even leaving this at around 10 15 20 percent which some may consider a low profit percentage margin I've still found products that bring me four five six seven eight on up to ten dollars of profit so Again, I recommend leaving it at around 10, but you know, you can raise that if you'd like. Uh, page limit this is a limit to the number of pages that you won't scrape. So let's just say you, you only want to go up to page 50, then you can input 50 here and it'll stop at page 50. All right, this is only if you want to set limitations. Product limit, same thing. You only want to scrape maybe 15 products, 15 of the first products within a particular category. You put 15 here, and it's only going to scrape the first 15 products for you, and then stop. Again, if you're confused over um, any of this at any given time, all you got to do is hover over 
the question mark here and you'll get a brief description now down here we have the save button this will obviously save the record um, however you can start the scraper whenever you'd like at your earliest convenience whereas this button right here is what I generally uh, click on this is going to actually save the record and then start the scraping process as well so we'll click on that as you see it started hasn't pulled the pages yet what you want to do as soon as uh, you start the scraper is refresh the page like always and here we go it's starting on page two actually page one it's already scraped goes to page two and then it will continue from there so from here we just let things run and periodically check and see where it's at we can hit the refresh button now and see okay we're on page four now with four scraped results and at any time you can click on the stop button here and stop the process it'll still keep the results and you can view them at any time even while the scraping process is running you can check and see what products that you've scraped so far all right so that concludes this video tutorial. Please check out the next tutorial regarding the Profit Spy scraped inventory.